good, good to go? Oh, we're going. All right, so guys, for part two, you have a bar made it, so you have North Pole and South Pole. How many supplies do you have here? You have what's called a galvanometer, which just measures small, small currents. So this basically measures electricity, and that's produced, or sorry, hooked up to this red coil. And so if you look, right now you can see there's zero electricity going through this red coil. So this is like a complete circuit without a power supply. There's a complete loop of wire for the electrons to travel. And so we're going to supply the energy to create the electric current. And notice a couple of things here, guys. So the first part in the lab, they say take your north end of your main at the north pole. What you're going to do is you're going to put it into the red coil. And watch the galvanometer, and it's going to measure how much electricity we produce in the red coil. So I'll insert it. So when it goes in, notice the needle deflected to the left, so that means we generated a negative current in this coil. And now the magnetic field's not moving, and there's no current. I'm going to back up, Get the move it picture. out. So we're going to pull the magnet out, and notice that time, the needle deflected to the right. So we'll do it again because positive current. I was getting glare. All right, so we'll go in with the North Pole. Now it's the magnet stationary, and when the magnet's stationary, the magnetic field's not changing. So you get zero current produced in the red coil. So when you pull the magnet out, it deflects the other way. Nice. And notice, guys, this is kind of cool because one way on the way in, it produces negative current. On the way out, it produces positive. So you're actually making alternating current. So that's how you get AC, your alternating current. Um, a couple of things. The reason this works is because you have this north magnetic pole going into the coil. The red, you can kind of think of it like this. The red coil doesn't want to change the magnetic field to go into it. So basically what happens is you induce a current in the red coil to make a north pole right here. And that north pole is trying to push this magnet out. So notice we push the magnet in. And when it's stationary, we're okay. We're happy. It's at zero. And now when I try to pull the north pole of the magnet out, well, a current gets induced in this coil again. And this time you're going to have a south magnetic pole here, which means your current's going to flip. And that's why your current flips the opposite direction. Cool. So you're making alternating current. That electricity is being produced from you, so it's taking your energy and converting your energy from mechanical energy into electricity. Neat. Nice.